Hello friends, welcome in my video series Image Processing using Python. In this video, I will just show you the very basic operations on the image like reading and displaying an image, retrieving size of an image, saving the changes into file, rotating an image and lastly resizing an image. So these operations I will just show you. For that, I have created one folder on desktop and this these are the files this is already I have just shown you in last video and IMG operation that I will just demonstrate in this video so this I have created already here these are the operations which I will demonstrate here so I just close this and I just open my terminal so now I am in the home so I need to change my directory so desktop again change python now you can list out so these are the my files now again i'll clear it now see first one is i'll just say i'll just copy this one simply this is my first operation so for for all operations I need to import that peel module so from peel import image right this is the class now this is a mandatory to include this one now here first operation is reading and displaying image already I have just told you in last video you can see that video so I will not spend much time over here so I will create one folder and image is the class make sure this I should be the capital dot open and whatever the file you need to open so that you can write here and same using this variable I can display right i'll save it i'll just go here python 3 space img operations.py right so you can see this image has been displayed so this is my first operation now i'll just go in second operation This is my second operation retrieving size of an image. So I'll say same thing. Suppose I have this image IMG that is stored in this folder. So for that same image, I'll just show you the size, width, and height. So I can say W or we can say width and height. So this is the tuple we can say and here we can write img dot size so using this again we can retrieve the height and width and print here width comma height right i can save it and i can run it so you can see this is the weight 217 and 232 is the height of this image right so this is how to retrieve weight and height other again the information we can retrieve it so same thing we can say suppose print for suppose emg img dot info so using this i can display the information about the img means whatever is this image for that i can display the information save it run it now you can see this one is the information about this image about this image right for this image this is information again i can 
print the format for this like format so either jpg png or any other format that i can display here you can see this one this is the jpg format so there are the many ways to display this one and other information also we can get it similarly right so we clear it this is the second one now third one is already i have demonstrated here saving the changes in image right like img one suppose this is the new image into this whichever is my img image that i'll save in other format save and suppose i can give the name like mnop dot png suppose now that same file now you can see here in this folder there is no mnop file here with png so when i just write this save this and when i run this I'll show you here now you can see m and op dot png file will be generated into this right so using this one i can make the changes into this this one now next is the for the rotation uh, for a while i just put the comment for this so or i can have this one original image now the next one is the rotation rotation is again very simple one here of oh. i'll rotate this original image that img here i'll take img3 this is the new image we can say and this is the image which i need to rotate this is img so this image i am just rotating here rotate and i'll just give the angle here like 45 right and i can display img2 dot show it means now here i am just displaying the img2 i'll save it i'll run it you can see this image is been rotated in 45 angle. similarly if i change this first we'll just close this one if i change it to 90 save it and run it you can see this has been rotated in 90 degree right so this is the rotation and last one is the resizing last operation is resizing now again for that i'll take new variable that is img3 and that same image like img is the original image that i want to resize it or re resize and you can give that tuper liquid that height like suppose 300 by 300 right and this third one i'll just display i'll save it and just run over here you can see the size of this image has been changed now this is the original image this is the rotated image and this is the enhanced image we can say the size of this image has been changed if i just just show you i can reduce that size also suppose 
100 by 100 I'll save it I'll run it you can see this is the resized image we can see this is original image this is the rotated image and this is the resized image so these are the very basic operations on the image so hope you like my image sorry you like my video so please share it like it and subscribe thank you thank you very much